I'm Jessica Gaddeth, and this is your Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. To begin with your weekend forecast, here's Mark Ronchetti. All right, overall, we're looking at a pretty nice weekend. High pressure is going to set up just to our east. Now, what that means for us is largely dry conditions throughout the weekend 80s and 90s to the north, 90s, triple digits stuff down south. If we're going to see showers on Saturday, it'll be across the southeast once again. But as we head into Sunday, we'll have a little better chance along the central mountain chain of grabbing a couple thunderstorms. The National Transportation Safety Board is combing through the wreckage of a plane crash in Ruidoso that killed five of the seven people on board. Investigators haven't pinpointed an exact cause, but they do say the plane was built for fewer passengers than it was carrying. The twin-engine Cessna is built for six people, but there were seven on board. The National Transportation Safety Board says the extra weight may or may not have contributed to the crash. The NTSB says weather was not a factor. They say the plane was out of control when it hit and cartwheeled before impact. Pilot Rodney Duree and his wife Delaney and 11-year-old son Lake were killed. Another couple on board, Carrie and Carl Lowell, Richie, also died. They were in New Mexico to bring the ashes of Carl's mother, Mary, to Albuquerque before memorial service. The ashes and the box they were in were not damaged in the crash. We learned late today that Mary and her son Carl grew up in Albuquerque. The NTSB will be on site for the next day or so. Its final report may take up to a year to be finished. A Valencia County jury returned with a verdict this afternoon for a man accused of torturing four kids. Gerald Tunnell was charged with 10 counts, including child abuse and kidnapping. He's accused of repeatedly abusing the kids ages 3, 4, and 6. Two years ago, the jury found him guilty on one count of conspiracy to commit child abuse, not guilty on two counts of kidnapping, and deadlocked on the seven other charges. The children's mother, father, and grandmother have pleaded guilty to their roles in the case. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.